is Dan Weisenberger, and today I'd like to talk about what texture does the nucleus have. Now the nucleus, shown here in this uh, cross-sectional representation, is a, is a small compartmentalized section of the cell which mainly contains um, genomic DNA, shown here with these squiggly lines, uh, that is wrapped around histones and packaged into uh, chromosomes, highly compacted and folded. Now, if we look at the structure of the nucleus itself, we see that uh, the nucleus is composed of, of both an outer membrane and an inner membrane. And these two are separated by a distance of about 50 nanometers. Both membranes are lipid bilayers um, and help to encapsulate the contents of the nucleus. Now, on the surface of the nucleus are little nodules called ribosomes, and these are the locations in which protein synthesis occurs. Now also uh, connected to the nucleus shown here is the endoplasmic reticulum, and this is another region which is involved in protein synthesis in the cell. Finally, uh, there are these gaps shown here in, in, in the drawing, and these are referred to as nuclear pores. These are small channels that are dotted all over the landscape of the cell and allow small molecules to come in and out of the nucleus to help support its function and, and uh, maintenance. Finally, um, I'd like to talk about how is the nucleus supported in its structure. Well, there are a meshwork layering of proteins called intermediate filaments, sp specifically nuclear lamina as I'm drawing here in this, in this figure. And these are basically cross-sectional uh, series of proteins that help to provide internal support in the inner membrane. Now there are also uh, support systems in the exterior of the cell, also with nuclear fil or uh, intermediate filaments. However, these are much less understood and are thought to support the structure of the nucleus within the cytoskeletal regions of the, of the cell. I'm Dan Weisenberger, and this is What Texture Does the Nucleus Have?